guys, welcome back. So we're going into 2017 and we're gonna do that looking super fierce and super glam. So I've come up with a makeup look for you guys to recreate uh, no matter what you're doing. So we're gonna start off with the skin first and I've got my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Biscuit. This has a slight orange undertone to it so it's really good for like some minor correcting. For foundation, I've got my Marc Jacobs Remarkable Full Coverage Foundation and my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. I just really like the combination of these two together so I'm just blending this all over my skin with my damp beauty blender sponge and you, as you can see I'm just patting this over okay don't do it as harsh as me but yeah beat that face girl um then for the eyes I've got my MAC paint pot in the shade soft ochre this is just going to act as a base for our eyeshadows and it's just going to cover up any discoloration that we may have on our eyelids and then I'm going to set that all in place with my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder I'm taking this in the crease and above it. I'm not really taking it onto the lid too much just because we're going to be applying shimmery shades on the lid so we don't want to set that with a uh, powder. Moving on to eyeshadow, I've got one of Tarte's newest eyeshadow palettes and it's gorgeous. It's their Tartiest Pro Amazonian Clay Palette and I'm just taking the shade Innocent. This kind of reminds me of Creme Brulee by Makeup Geek so it's the perfect transitional shade which I'm just taking through the crease and above it so it's one of those background shades that everything else is going to blend into. And then I'm taking this really nice pinky shade called Mod and this is going through the crease and a bit above it and as you can see I'm just building it up and blending it till I get the intensity that I want. And again this is going to be a transitional colour but one that we want to see. Um, and as you can see I'm just taking it a little bit higher but making sure we have a really nice soft blend. So then we're just taking the shade Punk, which is a really nice dark teal colour. It's quite different. So I'm just taking this on the inner and outer corners of the eye, almost as if you're about to do like a halo eye effect. And then I'm just going to take it through the crease and join the two ends up. Um, but you just want to keep building this shade up. You want it to be quite dark and intense. This is an evening makeup after all. I'm then just taking my Illamasqua concealer, this is such a good heavy duty concealer and I am just applying this on the centre of the eyelid, almost as if we're doing a cut crease but we're not. The only reason I'm concealing over the top is so that the shadow that we, we apply next, it pops and you can really see the colour come through. And I'm using Trendy from the same eyeshadow palette and as you can see it's got such beautiful tones in it like blue, browns, purples, almost reminds me of Blue Brown by MAC. So then I'm just going back in with some more of that dark teal colour called Punk just on the inner and outer corners and then through the crease again just so that the um, centre colour kind of blends well into the inner and outer corners. Now you can totally leave it here but I wanted to add glitter because it is New Year's Eve. So I'm taking this gorgeous green glitter from the Moon Dust palette by Urban Decay. This is such a gorgeous palette. But yeah, as you can see it's super easy. I'm just patting this over the centre of the lid. Then I'm going to move on to some cream contouring and I've got another Tarte palette. So I've got the Tartiest Pro Glow Highlight and Contour palette and I'm just taking the cream contour uh, shade from the palette and it's called Shade. And as you can see, I'm just taking this through the hollows of my cheeks, on my temples and also just on the sides of my nose just to sink those areas in and to make my face appear slimmer. And then for concealer, I've got my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Ginger to highlight. So this is just going underneath the eyes where I want to cover up any dark circles also just down the bridge of my nose, on my forehead, cupid's bow and chin. So we just want to bring light to the centre of our face. And then I just wanted to brighten it slightly further with my Light Boost Prep and Prime Pen by MAC. So you then want to go ahead and blend all of that out. And I like to blend the darker and contoured areas out first. So that is exactly what I'm doing. And I'm just using a nice duo fibre brush by Morphe to do this. So once you've blended out all of your contoured areas, you want to just go and blend all the highlighted areas and I'm just using my damp beauty blender sponge to do this, just patting this into the skin and making sure we don't have any harsh or funny lines. And then we just want to set all of the highlighted areas in place with the damp beauty blender sponge and the same translucent setting powder and I'm just patting this over the skin. I find that the powder doesn't look cakey when you do it with a sponge and then straight away I like to dust it off with a brush so that the powder is not sitting on your skin for too long and then it doesn't look too heavy. Then just going back onto the eyes I'm taking the shade Mod again which we used in our crease earlier um, and this is just going on the lower lash line so we're just doing kind of a similar thing 
that we did on the top of the eye onto the lower lash line and then taking that dark teal colour called Punk and just taking that along the lower lash line again and then blending the two shades together. You then just want to intensify the look further. So I've got a coal liner by Tarte. This is the Man Eater Coal Liner. Um, so you can use any black pencil that you like. And this is just going on the inner waterline. You can take it on your upper waterline also and tight line. But yeah, this just adds a lot more drama to the look and kind of completes the eyes. And then for mascara, I've got my Tartiest mascara. I didn't actually mean to use this many Tarte products. Um, I ended up just grabbing them. But yeah, I really like this mascara um, to give you length and volume. I did apply some Violet Voss lashes off camera and I'll leave the names of them down below and then for bronzer I've got my favorite bronzer which is the Ofra versatile matte bronzer I have a coupon code for it so I'll leave that down below for you as well and um, but yeah this is just going through my cheeks and on my temple so just anywhere where we've contoured and um, just to add a bit of warmth to it and then to go in with a bit more contouring I've got this Morphe 9C palette and I'm mixing two of the shades on the lower kind of section of it and this is just going through the cheeks and um, just to add a bit more definition and to make the face look more carved out and just one more step to make sure that contour is looking sharp as hell. I've got my translucent powder on my Beauty Blender sponge again and I'm just taking that along the bottom of my contour and then just dusting that straight off so we have a nice sharp line. And then I'm taking my Tartius Pro Glow palette again and I'm taking one of the highlighters from it and this is the shade Lit. It's absolutely gorgeous. Oh my god and there's so many other highlighters in this palette. But this is just going on the top of my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, at the tip and anywhere else you feel like you want to highlight. And then I've got my Morphe blush palette. This is the 9C I believe. I'll leave the name of it down below. But I'm just mixing two of the blush shades from this palette. They are so highly pigmented I can't tell you. Um, but yeah, such good quality and this is just going on the apples on my cheeks and through my contour a little bit. And then for the lips, I'm just lining my lips with MAC Well Lip Liner and yeah, just lining my lips with this. And then for liquid lipstick, I've got my Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipstick in the shade Venus, which you guys know is my favourite, and this is just going all over the lip. You guys know I love a dark eye and a nude lip, but this is my finished look for my New Year's Eve makeup. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, follow me on Insta, Snapchat, everything is down below. Mwah.